गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस वेब सर्विस डिस्क्रिप्शन लैंग्वेज डब्ल्यू एस डी एल डॉक्यूमेंट दैट इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब ए वेब सर्विस दिस डॉक्यूमेंट इज ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएटेड वैन ए वेब सर्विस इज क्रिएटेड so what is the wsdl or web service description language web service description language is an xml based markup language that is used to completely describe a web service the language is xml based it means it contains the tags a wsdl document represents the capabilities of a web service in a standard format wsdl document basically represents a contract between the client and the web service everything that is contained in the web service has been recorded in a wsdl document and the clients of the web service can refer to the wsdl document web service provider will provide everything uh, it means every operation that is listed in the wsdl document and client cannot ask for other things other information which is not referred in the wsdl document the major information that a web service contains includes the request and response messages so the wsdl document contains the operations which are supported by a web service the um, one operation uh, is basically a set of two messages one is the request message and the response message request message is the uh, re uh, request of a particular operation along with the data pr uh, provided by or parameters provided by the client and uh, the co computation is performed by the web service and response message is created and sent back to the client with the service is available and what protocols are being used for communication uh, wsdl uh, document also provides where the service is available in the format of the urls and port numbers and the protocols are being used for the communication what protocol for example http protocol or soap protocol or any other protocol it is also listed in wsdl document A WSDL document also includes the information about the methods exposed by the web service. It contains a listing of all the methods, all the functions which are supported by a web service. <coughs> WSDL schema. A web service description language also contains a schema. A WSDL schema is also represented by the XML document. The major element of a WSDL schema are listed below. First is the port type. Port type contains all the operations that are supported by the web service. Messages are the used by messages used by the web service for communicating with the client, which are transferred between the client and the server, which can which stores or hosts the web service. Types. Types is the data types used in the request and response messages of a web service. The type uh, refers to the uh, data types of uh, parameters and return return values. bindings bindings are the communication protocols used by web service binding refers to how a service uh, operation can be invoked using which protocol this figure indicates what are the uh, elements of the interface of a web service so uh, the first uh, element is the definition element it is the root element it encloses all other elements other elements are import data uh, types which refer to data type messages port type and binding these uh, elements are uh, discussed in detail in the uh, next few slides definitions definition element is the root element of a wsdl document it provides the name of web service it also encloses other service elements and it declares all the name spaces used within the web service hence the import uh, statement imports statement or imports message is also a part of the definitions data type data type section of the web service specifies the data types used in the input and output operations it refers to the data type of the input parameters which is used to invoke the web service and uh, when the service is um, the service computes some operation or performs some operation and results are um, computed the data type of result is also uh, included in this data type section data types are also defined in terms of xml schema so everything is in the form of xml the certain data types are also specified in the xml schema messages 
मैसेजेस इंडिकेट द डेटा एलिमेंट और द इन्फॉर्मेशन डेट इज पास थ्रू अ वेब सर्विस मैसेजेस बेसिकली इंडिकेट्स द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन द क्लाइंट ऑफ द वेब सर्विस एंड द वेब सर्विस मैसेजेस प्रोवाइड डेटा एलिमेंट इन एन एक्सट्रैक्ट वे द डिटेल्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन इज कंटेन इन द ऑपरेशन एलिमेंट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैसेज एलिमेंट इज द रिक्वेस्ट मैसेज एंड रिस्पॉन्स मैसेज सो दीज आर द टू मैसेजेस विच आर कंटेन इन एवरी ऑपरेशन 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 एलिमेंट डिस्क्राइब्स द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट मैथड्स यूज इन वेब सर्विस सो ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशन एलिमेंट डिस्क्राइब्स द ए पर्टिकुलर मैथड और एक्शन इन डिटेल ऑपरेशन एलिमेंट प्रोवाइड्स द नेम ऑफ द मैथड एंड द प्रोसेस यूज इन द मैथड दिस एलिमेंट बेसिकली डिस्क्राइब्स द एक्शन सपोर्टेड बाय द वेब सर्विस पोर्ट टाइप पोर्ट टाइप इज बेसिकली कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल द ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म बाय द वेब सर्विस विच आर स्पेसिफाइड ऑन ए स्पेसिफिक एंड पॉइंट इट मीन्स इन द वेब सर्विस द यूजर्स आर गिवन ए पर्टिकुलर यू आर एल विद द पोर्ट नंबर एंड ऑन दिस यू आर एल एंड पोर्ट नंबर वट आर द वट आर द ऑल ऑपरेशन दैट कैन बी परफॉर्म दैट कैन बी इन्वोक्ट बाय द क्लाइंट दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द पोर्ट टाइप सो एंड पॉइंट इन ए वेब सर्विस रेफर्स टू द यू आर एल अलॉन्ग विद द पोर्ट नंबर Binding. Binding describes the invocation of a web service. Binding is basically refers to which protocols are being used to invoke a web service. Binding represents the concrete protocols and data format specification used in operations and messages, which are discussed earlier. Port. Port combines the protocol used and the network address. It means the URL and port number along with the, the protocol used. So port is basically a combination of bindings and the URLs used for the web service. The service element represents the collection of all the endpoints. So a web service may include several endpoints, and each endpoint may include several operations. So service element is basically a collection of all the endpoints. It means service element represents or defines what are the complete capability of a specific web service. This figure contains the working with the WSDL. How uh, the client can invoke a web service? Basically, a client. Uh, when uh, want to use uh, want to invoke a specific operation the two messages are being sent to the web service one is the request message and one is the uh, the uh, client will receive the response message so in this figure there are two ports port 1 and port 2 and in both the ports the operations are invoked using the response and uh, request and response message the messages are contained in the soap envelope uh, envelope which we'll discuss uh, in the uh, next video lectures so message uh, message uh, it is uh, refers to the part in uh, the uh, so panvelop so message part is the specific data type and associated operation input and output messages form the operation so we can summarize that a client uh, how to work with the wsdl document a client can access web service using the specified ports in order to invoke an operation two messages are communicated the request message and the response message messages are enclosed in soap envelope message parts have a specific data types and operations request and response messages form a single operation and binding specifies how operations are invoked that is all for the wsdl document so uh, in the next video lecture we'll discuss how we can create uh, a, a web service using asp.net and what is the format of a wsdl document thank you